Hi everyone, welcome. In today's video, I will be providing my final update on how my Helium hotspot is doing after my antenna update. Right, so I updated or more like downgraded my antenna from a 8dbi antenna to the Bobcat stock 4dbi antenna. So I can reach some of the hotspots local to me, or so I thought which I believe the 8dbi antenna was actually overshooting. And um, if you haven't seen my previous video on why I'm doing all of this, I'll leave a link um, somewhere at the top there so you can actually see why I'm going through the trouble of doing all of this. So, um, however, after connecting the 4dbi antenna, to which I downgraded from the 8dbi antenna to a LMR400 cable, I was only able to witness three hotspots. And um, using the discovery mode, only six um, hotspots or miners responded to the beacon I sent out using the um, discovery mode. Um, we could actually have a quick look here. Uh, so even you can see some five, four. So on the 3rd of August, only six hotspots actually um, responded. And um, on the 3rd, six. On the 4th, five. On the 4th, again, five um hotspots actually responded so my 8 dbi and my 4 db antenna were actually in the same height and um the whole point was for me to actually um see if i could actually connect to the hotspots that my 8 dbi antenna was actually overshooting or at least that was what i taught in the first place and um, after less than 48 hours, based on the number of witnesses and hotspots that responded to my beacon in the discovery mode, I decided to switch back to the 8dbi antenna because using that, you should be able to kind of have an understanding of how many hotspots your um, miner is going to connect to using the discovery mode as well. So I switched back to the 8dbi antenna after about 48 hours because it just definitely looked like the 4dbi antenna wasn't going to do the job and then um, after switching back to my 8dbi antenna i decided to go on holiday now this is this was actually where all the fun began while on holiday i noticed that the max hotspot my miner was seeing was only three rather than the usual 20 plus on my um, 8dbi antenna as you can see there uh on thursday the 5th just 0.23 uh and then 0 0.06 rewards and um if we have a quick look the last 30 days you will actually see what my miner usually makes in a day before my test so as you can see there 2.41 that was before the halving let's go past the halving actually so 1.5 after the halving and then 1.47 0 0.68 uh, so Tuesday, the 3rd of August was, um, I think it was right around noon that I switched to the 4dbi. And as you can see there, it just kept falling. And um, 0 0.16, I believe that was um, on the Wednesday when I switched back to the 8dbi antenna. And then from there on, my um, hotspot was on holiday and it was just chilling the same way I was chilling whilst i was on holiday um whilst i was on holiday i was just a bit you know surprised i just thought i was gonna give it a couple of more days for the um number of hotspots to increase but for whatever reason it just didn't get past the um three hotspots or three witnesses that my hotspot could actually see so i got back around two days ago which was on uh monday went into my loft and i found that the hdbi antenna was actually laying flat in the loft must have been loose whilst i was um installing the 4 dbi or something i don't know why anyways now i have the Bruman mopper grippers screwed to the beam rather than um, having it glued into the um, loft beam which was what i did previously so that should actually hold better now so what are the results the 8 dbi antenna actually performed um a you know perform we will actually perform better but i was actually very surprised that my 4 dbi couldn't still connect to some of the local hotspots that was actually local to me because i thought the 8 dbi was overshooting but the 4 dbi just wouldn't match again 
both antennas were actually in my loft. Maybe if it was outside, you know, I'm looking to actually see if I could um, mount the um, HDBI outside higher up somewhere in the roof. But unfortunately, due to some restriction, I can't really do that now. So um, the 4DB antenna didn't actually connect to the um, local um, hotspots that I actually thought my 8DB I was overshooting as well. Didn't connect to that. And um, so what is my advice? Personally, if you actually want to do this or you just want to test how antennas or what you know db antenna you should be going online to buy what i will personally recommend is to um before anyone go out anyone goes out there to buy all of this hardware i recommend using the hotspots rf app i'll um i will provide a link to their website below and um you get around 10 points or something like that for you to actually simulate i mean Though the results might be, might be a bit inflated in Hotspots RF, but it does give you some guidance. So a good example um, is with my, with my HDBI antenna after putting the height and everything. I actually said I was going to be seeing about um, 40 witnesses, but in reality, I'm only, you know, so the max I've seen there is saying 29 Hotspots actually um, responded back to my um to my um, beacon whilst i was in discovery mode and right now i believe i actually have about 20 witnesses let's see yeah 21 witnesses right now so what i recommend is use hotspots rf it's actually a good um, tool for simulating the number of witnesses your miner is actually going to connect to depending on the height or the elevation and the antenna and a couple of other things that actually surround your local area it's actually good for simulating how, um, how many witnesses you are gonna see so um that's my recommendation to anyone else out there that's um trying to um try this and um also one more thing i'm about break evenish after owning the miner for um just um over a month now so i've had the bobcat miner for just over a month now so i'm about break even ish so i said break even ish because if we consider the cost of just the miner i've um, literally broken even on my um, roi but adding the additional accessories that I actually bought like the hdb antenna mounting pole and a couple of other things i'm yet to break even but i am certain that i if had i not done this test with the four stroke versus HDBI antenna test i would have um, seen my roi um, by the end of this week anyway thanks for watching and click on the like button so the youtube algorithm could actually um, um recommend this video to other viewers and um subscribe if you're not already subscribed have a good evening guys.